A few months ago, I released this video covering the 5 VR headsets I'm most excited for. Now, although I'm still excited for all the headsets mentioned in that video, there has been some new developments about this new headset that, quite frankly, is absolutely blowing my mind. And honestly, this looks like it could end up being a quest killer. The headset I'm talking about is the Pico 4 and Pico 4 Pro. For those who do not know anything about the Pico headset, the most critical piece of information when analyzing this headset is that the company Pico Interactive is a child company of none other than ByteDance. That's right, the same Chinese tech giant who is also the parent company behind the social media phenomenon TikTok. If you haven't already been down the TikTok rabbit hole about just how absolutely insane their data collection practices are, then I'll leave a couple of links in the description of some videos I recommend about that topic. But in short, TikTok was engineered to be the best and most addictive social media app ever created. And I think we can all see by now that they executed phenomenally. Now, although TikTok is able to gather an insane amount of your personal data by just simply being installed on your phone, it won't be able to harvest all your future data once VR becomes more mainstream. Eye tracking, hand tracking, etc. are all going to be types of data that can only be properly produced by using a VR headset. And I'm sure there will be plenty of other new innovations with VR that we can't even imagine yet that will be ripe with VR specific data. The primary goal of TikTok is to harvest as much data as possible on a global scale and it uses addictive methods such as short form video and infinite scrolling to keep users engaged for as long as possible in order to maximize the amount of data that can be harvested. If a company wanted to harvest as much data as TikTok, but in the VR space, then what would be the best way to go about it? And it's pretty simple, actually. Make the best damn consumer VR headset ever created. Make it so good and addictive that users spend much more time in VR. With a market cap of around $300 billion and a social media platform slash algorithm that's as addictive as TikTok, it sounds to me that ByteDance is in the best position you could ask for to make such a headset. And you didn't mishear me earlier in the video. The headset they are about to reveal is the Pico 4 and Pico 4 Pro. Remember, this is a Chinese-based company. It wasn't until the Pico 3 that they decided to expand their reach into the European market. And the Pico 3 already has specs comparable to the Quest 2. From UploadVR.com, Quest 2 and Neo 3 Link have the same chip, the same amount of RAM, the same resolution, the same type of display, and the same lens separation control mechanism. Both have four tracking cameras mounted in identical positions. The Pico 3 also launched in Europe for the same price as the Quest 2's 256GB model at that time. However, it also came out of the box with an elite style strap with the battery built into the rear for better weight balance, which is actually a better value than the Quest headset out of the the box. The Pico 3 could also connect to a PC via wired connection or wireless connection over Wi-Fi to get access to PC VR titles. However, for the wired connection, the Pico 3 uses a display port connection instead of a USB connection like the Quest 2, so there is no video compression when using the Pico 3, another advantage for the Pico. And if you check out the official Pico website, you can see that they already have plenty of essential VR titles such as Red Matter, Super Hot VR, and 11 Table Tennis. So even the software side is already pretty competitive as there aren't exactly many groundbreaking VR exclusive titles yet as of August 2022. But that can all change with the Pico 4 and the Pico 4 Pro. Again, from UploadVR.com. Pico described the European launch as a beta program, asking buyers to provide feedbacks on upgrades to the Pico store, Pico user account, payment, social, and other services, and hasn't yet said anything about a potential North America expansion. But Protocol spotted a job listing for head of consumer sales, responsible for the sales and marketing of Pico's overall product in the US consumer market. Protocol reports a source told that Bydance is willing to spend tons of money for VR games and experiences of its own. The outlet found job listings for a Pico Pico Studios organization including head of Pico Studios, a head of VR game strategy Pico Studios, a head of overseas content ecosystem Pico Studios, and an operations manager. Neo3 Link's beta program European launch remains very limited. It's not even sold by Amazon or other major retailers. Quest 2 remains 76 times more popular than Neo3 on Steam, but these job listings suggest ByteDance is willing to build up a truly competitive content library to fully take on Meta. This sounds to me that ByteDance is not only looking to compete with Meta, but they are aiming to destroy Meta and completely dominate the VR space. If they can be successful in that, they will be able to collect as much data, if not more, than they already do with TikTok, which would definitely give them an incentive to produce the best consumer-grade VR headset possible. 
It seems like they are slowly and thoroughly planning this rollout, waiting until at least the fourth generation of their hardware before even stepping foot in the North American market. And it also sounds like they are aware content is king, seeing that they are willing to spend a ton of money on VR games and experiences, and they have the money to back it up. So far, there's not much information on the details of the specs for the Pico 4 or Pico 4 Pro. We do know they are coming as they have been spotted in an FCC filing. There's also apparently been a leak of the controller design, which actually looks much more sleek than the Quest 2 controllers in my opinion. And it is also known that the Pro model is supposed to have additional eye tracking and face tracking functions, unlike the standard Pico 4 model. Okay, so that all sounds great, but will the Pico 4 really be able to compete with the Quest headset? And I would absolutely think that they can compete. Meta is only the leader of the VR industry right now because the industry is young and there's barely any competition at the moment. All they have really proved is there's a demand for standalone VR headsets, but most people's biggest issue with the Quest is their association with Facebook, which is becoming a bottom tier social media site. Now enter a lighter, more comfortable headset with better specs, with most of the same if not better games from the company behind the most popular and addictive social media site ever created. Looking at my YouTube analytic data, odds are if you are watching this video, you are somewhere in the age range of 18 to 44 years old. In general, we are not even the target audience for VR. Of course, these companies are not going to ignore this section of the market by any means, but the most important customers are those below the age of 18. Kids today are going to be the consumers of the future. They are the ones who will truly understand the value of VR and the metaverse that we as the older generations may never be able to understand at that same level. This is why metaverses such as Roblox and Fortnite are becoming so massive. It doesn't matter if we don't understand its value fully, but if the kids do, then that is what's going to eventually come out on top. And when you compare the Quest to the Pico headset, one headset is associated with Facebook and the other is associated with TikTok. Which of these social media apps is massively more popular with the younger demographic? That association alone could be enough reason for the Pico headset to pop off once it enters the North American market, assuming they do a full-fledged marketing campaign for it in an effort to one-up Meta's next-generation hardware. What are your thoughts about the news of the Pico 4 headset? Do you think it will have the ability to take on Meta in the North American market? I would love to hear your thoughts down in the comments and discuss further, as I feel this headset has so many advantages going for it that it could completely change the VR landscape as we know it. If you liked this video, please leave a like as that is a huge help for the YouTube algorithm. Also, feel free to click subscribe if you haven't already for more videos like this one, as well as following the development of my own VR game. Who knows, maybe it'll end up on the Pico store someday. My other social media links can be found in the description as well, and if you are a fan of VR and you would like to help support this channel, then check out Kiwi Design's VR accessories to enhance your VR experience, such as the upgraded Elite Strap. You can use coupon code DEVELOPRHUNT to get 5% off your order, and I get a kickback from that which would greatly help support the channel. Just use the affiliate link in the description of this video. Or if you're not looking for VR accessories at the moment, there's also an affiliate link in the description for Humble Bundle, which has been one of my favorite stores for years. If you don't already know what Humble Bundle is, they offer bundles of games with a pay what you want model. These bundles typically have multiple tiers where you can get a couple of items for as little as $1, and more items can be received at higher payment tiers. They even offer VR bundles where I was once able to pick up a copy of Red Matter for a PC VR in the past. Besides games, they also offer software bundles and book bundles as well. As a software engineer and game developer, I love how many programming resources you can get on the site for just a dollar. They also do game dev assets from time to time, so it's all around a great resource in my opinion. And with every purchase made, a portion is also donated to charity. So instead of tipping me a dollar to support the channel, I'm more of a fan of Humble Bundle where not only can you support the channel, but you also get something in return and the portion is also donated to charity. All you have to do is use my affiliate link down in the description. If you made it this far in the video, then I just want to say thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.